Welcome to your RegPack training overview. This video will briefly cover the important aspects of RegPack to get you familiar with the backend so that you can begin managing your system. Let's explore the basic elements of the users module. If you have a family or group system, you'll see three tabs. Note that these tabs can be renamed by heading to Settings, Project Settings, and selecting from this dropdown. The first tab contains all of your registrants, both head and subunit level. The second tab just contains the head level. The third tab contains only the subunits, typically all of your registrants. If you have an individual system, however, you'll see all of your registrants in one tab. To view all information for a specific registrant, simply click anywhere along the user bar to open up their side panel. You can also easily navigate the tabs by clicking them here. View and send emails, edit their forms, add products to the cart, or process a payment and more here. Begin typing in the search bar to find specific registrants. You'll be able to stack search conditions of any kind to narrow down your users to your exact specifications. Filter for users who have ordered a certain product or another product and have yet to pay for either product, for instance. The possibilities are limitless. To run a report, you can select some or all of your filtered or non-filtered users, click Reports, and select the report that you'd like to run. Note that for family or group systems, you can create reports on the head level, subunit level, or both. The system will pull the appropriate users for you. We'll touch on how to create a report shortly. In the Payments tab, you'll be able to see all previously made and upcoming payments, and your purchase protection payments are sorted into their own tab. You can run a payment report on some or all of your payments by selecting the items you wish to report on and clicking Payment Report. For more information on purchase protection, check out our video linked below. Under Settings and Products, you'll find everything that you've offered for selection and purchase as well as the ability to run a sales report. To create a new product or category, simply click the respective buttons found here and here. To edit an existing product, hover over the product you wish to edit and click Edit Properties. Here, you'll see a sidebar that will allow you to edit the name, price, and description of your product, determine whether users can order it once or more or whether it's visible to them, edit a product's locking settings, prompt payments to pay for this item before others, choose whether it should be on the head or subunit level if you have a group or family system, add an availability or expiration date, and add a quota and wait list. Once you've successfully edited a product, you can set a trigger so that a product only shows or adds when a certain condition is met. If you have no conditions, your product does not need a trigger. Click the lightning bolt or trigger button while hovering over your product to choose conditions. To run a sales report, click Tools, Download Sales Report, and choose what fields you'd like to add. You can download a pure sales report or merge it with one of the user reports we'll show you how to create now. In Settings and Reports, you can create a report containing any information captured within your system by clicking Create New Report, and you can create categories here to keep them organized how you see fit. Once you've created a report, you'll see a sidebar that will allow you to add or remove fields from anywhere across your forms. Navigate through the fields and add the fields you wish to see on this report. Head to System Field Options if you'd like to add information that is not collected by your forms, such as your registrant's balance, orders, and much more. For family systems, Note that payment information will come from the child or subunit level, so be sure that you're under the right subheading to get the information that you're looking for. Let's head to Settings and Emails to explore creating automatic emails. Create a new email by clicking Create New Email, and create categories to organize your emails by clicking Create New Category here. You'll see that some default emails have already been set up for you. You can edit these and future emails by hovering over them and clicking Edit Subject or Body. Change the name or category of the email by clicking Edit Properties. Set your emails to send automatically with a trigger, our conditional logic. You can see if an email has a trigger set up here. Simply select who you'd like to send the email from, who you'd like it to go to, and what condition causes it to send. If there's a purple lightning bolt, your email is ready to go. Tokens are an easy solution for adding data from your registrants' forms and other items into your emails. Navigate the token menu to find any information you need to plug in. Simply click Add next to the name and your token will appear where your cursor is within your email text. You can use our search bar to find a partial or whole name of the token that you're looking for. Let's begin by going over the elements of forms. You'll see that each set of forms has a category. Since we're in a group or family system, we'll see one category for the head or parent level and one category for the subunit or child level by default. Feel free to create additional forms or categories by clicking here, 
but note that in group or family systems, all of the head level forms must come before the subunit level forms. You can access system forms such as your dashboard, create account, and login forms by clicking on the system category to expand here. Each form requires a trigger, or the purple lightning bolt you see here, to show up in your registrant's list of forms. If you create a new form, be sure to add one. For family systems, parent or head level forms will have the trigger user account created, and child or subunit forms will have the trigger child or subunit created. If this form should only show up for certain people, you can use other triggers. Click Edit Forms to view the form creator. Here, you can edit each individual field by clicking on it and making changes to your text. You can add additional fields by using the sidebar to the left and either adding the field or dragging and dropping it into your form. View our other tutorials for more in-depth information on setting up forms, reports, emails, products, and other items, and don't forget to reach out to our lovely support team at support at if you need any assistance.